Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is the third video of chapter two. So in this video, we will look at another example. For this problem, we call it the blending model. So the problem is the following. Say you are a farmer and uh, you have um, many cows that you need to feed. And on the market, there are two kinds of feeds available. Let's call them feed X and feed Y. And we will be using X and Y as the variable here. And uh, there are three nutritional elements that I need to watch as a farmer for the well-being of my cows. Let's call them A, B, and C. We are now given the following table on the informations for the nutrients per pound for both feeds, X and Y. In this table, let's look at it. So for feed X, it has 3 units of nutrients A, 7 units of nutrients B, and 3 nutrients of unit C. And for feed Y, the respected values are A, for A, B, C nutrients are 2 and 2 and 6. And you see that this is lower and this is lower, although this is higher. So um, one would think probably feed X is a more um, kind of a premium grade and feed Y is an economic cheaper version. And in fact, you can see the cost for X is higher than the cost for Y. And then for the well-being of the cow, um, there is a minimum daily value for the nutrients that must be satisfied. For nutrients A, it's 60, B is 84, C is 72. So this is actually kind of similar to the diet problem, if you really think about it. And now we want to solve the following problem. So the question is, how much of each feed should you, the farmer, use on a daily basis so that you minimize the total cost of buying them and you also meet the minimum daily need of the nutrients? Okay, let's set up the mathematical model. I repeat the table here so we can see it. And let's define the variable x and y. That's the daily feed amount in pound for each feed. And we define a cost function f to minimize. If I use 10 of feed x, the cost will be 10 times x. And for feed y, the cost will be 4 times y, and I add them up. And the next step is to find all the constraints. So I want to minimize this cost function here, but I have to obey all these constraints of the nutrition value, the minimum value. So it's very similar. So if I use x, and y amount here, so the nutrition value for item A will be 3x plus 2y, and this shall be bigger than 60. Okay, And for B is the same, so 7x, 2y add up shall be bigger than 84 here. And for C, I have 3x plus 6y shall be bigger than 72. And then, not surprisingly, we also have the positivity constraint. x, y cannot be negative. Right. So this is a mathematical model we just set up with two variables, x and y, with four constraints. And in the next video, we will solve this with the, the graphing technique that we have learned.